and this is Trey Passer, and welcome to Trey Passer's Saturday Horror Reviews, episode 13, I believe. The last week I did King Kong Escapes, so why not continue my monster, giant monster tradition? Uh, King Kong, this is uh, 1962, I believe. Let's make sure I got that right. Uh, yeah, it came out in 1962, and uh, in Japan, but it came out in 63 in the U.S. Okay, King Kong versus Godzilla. You know, I'm a big giant monster movie fan. So, and of course, I grew up watching this. You know, they should show this like every year. I, I don't know, every Easter, every holiday on Channel 9, local Channel 9 TV here in New York, they should show the giant monster movies. And King Kong versus Godzilla was, of course, my favorite. I think I don't know if it was Thanksgiving or maybe it was every Thanksgiving they showed it. But anyway, um, you know, King Kong versus Godzilla. Now, basically, uh, the story in, in in this one is uh you have a character named Mr. Uh, Taco uh, Taco yeah Taco he's um the head of uh, I think this pharmaceutical uh, company that sponsors you know TV shows and all his TV shows for his network they, you know they, the ratings are horrible nobody's watching his program so he's desperate for to get some kind of uh, a ratings boost so um, he finds out that this, there's a scientist who went to this island. Uh, called Farrow Island, and he um, discovered that there was these berries that uh, have great properties, you know, I guess they call it anesthetic quality, you know, quality, you know, they don't make, you know, people, you know, it's good for anesthesia, but they only grow on that island. And, but he also heard of a myth. The doctor said there's supposed to be a giant monster who lives on that island, okay? And he thinks, uh, Taco said, oh, this would be great to, um, if I send my two, sent two of his reporters there and you know to find this big monster and they can capture it and he can bring it back and use it to, to boost up you know the publicity on this and get ratings for his uh network okay so he sends the two guys out you know to do that you know to go to the island with their little you know little guide and, and they're supposed to find out who this giant monster is and capture him and bring him back and at the same time you have uh an american submarine seahawk that's out, I think it's supposed to be out. Uh, they notice all these icebergs are, are melting, and they come around and they see this big gigantic one, and they see you know it's, it's they think that's the source of all the heat where it's coming from, and they actually crash into it. And of course, but this iceberg contains actually Godzilla, who was trapped there before, and he actually breaks free, okay, and destroying the submarine at the same time. Okay, and Americans, you know, the sub that goes to rescue. You know, because they sent out a beacon before they get, you know, before they sink the sub. And the American rescue helicopter sees it, and he sees Godzilla breaking out, you know, of course. And then you see Godzilla, you know, go to the Arctic, the nearby Arctic base and just level it, okay, and destroy it, melt the tanks and everything. And he's on his way, you see him marching on his way to Tokyo. Uh, and at the same time, you go back to the Faroe Island where you see the two games. The two uh, reporters, and you have one that's a scaredy cat, <laughs> and you know the one, the other one that's sort of brave, and he, they kind of bribe the local tribe leader, you know, give them cigarettes and stuff, and and show them a transistor radio, say this is magic, and can we stay? And they say, okay, she said you can stay a day, and in the meantime, okay, you see the appearance of a giant octopus on the island, and basically attacks some of the natives, and then of course this brings about this giant monster, David. You know, they've been talking about and they've been hearing about. Of course, that giant monster is King Kong. Okay, and he comes along and he basically uh, uh, throws a bunch of rocks at, at the giant octopus and picks it up and throws it around and basically gets it to run off. Okay. And at the same time, Kong comes and he sees that, you know, the, the juice that they made out of that berry that has that, anex, I guess, anesthesia, quadrilase, and he, he sees it. And the big drums and Kong picks it up and drinks it and of course passes out. He could, okay, he drinks about four or five big things of that and passes out. Okay, and of course the two reporters say, okay, this is the perfect opportunity. Now we can take Kong back. Well, uh, and somehow don't ask me how they did this, but they uh, they strap him to a tiny, you know, to a big gigantic raft. <laughs> okay, I don't know how long well, it took to build it, but this let's go with it. And they actually built, you know, strapped Kong to the raft while he's unconscious. 
and they're heading back to Tokyo. And of course, Mr. Taco uh, comes, he lands, you know, he comes onto the ship, you know, he flies to the ship, and, and of course he's excited because, you know, he's, oh, this is Kong, this is this will be great for my network. You know, Kong is here, and this is fantastic. But of course, the Japanese are petrified because God, because uh, Godzilla is heading, you know, towards, you know, Tokyo, and of course they try to, you know, they try to stop Godzilla. You know, they even set a couple of traps and they dig a big hole and put some clothes in it. But that doesn't stop Godzilla. They even set up these uh, electrical wires things, you know, to see if Godzilla would, you know, that would beat him back. But that still, he just goes around it. And at the same time, you see the Japanese, uh, you know, the military they come to, you know, and Mr. Tackle on the ship and say, listen, you got to cut Kong up. You can't have Kong coming into the city and, you know, destroying the city. You know, you can't have him come to the city because he'll destroy, you know, you know, between him and Godzilla, you know, they'll destroy Tokyo. So they can't do it. So they actually, uh, accidentally, on purpose, <laughs> uh, blow up the, because uh, the, uh, the rock that he's on has is dynamite and they actually uh, blow it and it, and it sinks and God's can, King Kong actually goes in the water, but of course he's not hurt. But he's free now, and he heads towards uh, Tokyo. So, so you have these two great forces heading toward each other. And then the first time they actually meet, you know, they have a little minor skirmish where actually well, Kong is, you know, Kong sees him, and Godzilla, and Godzilla sees him, and Godzilla basically kind of <laughs> gives him some of that subatomic breath. And of course, and of course, Kong is, uh, you know. Kind of stunned by it, and then he kind of walks off after a little bit. You know, he kind of walks away, you know, scratching his head literally, you know, not figuring this out, of course. And he walks away, and then meanwhile, Godzilla continues his rampage. Uh, okay, and, and they still have this in the back of their mind that we, we could use the atomic bomb as a last resort. You know, they have that in their back pocket, but they have another plan. They come up with another plan. They said, What if we grab Kong again? Because Kong has gone the other way. We grab him, we uh, knock him out, take some more of that berry juice, and knock him out, strap him to these balloons, and airlift him to where Godzilla is again, and let them let them fight <laughs> again, and hopefully they destroy each other. Okay, and then that's of course you have them. That's exactly what they do, and they let Kong go, and and him and Godzilla are battling again. You know, trade blows left and right. Of course, you know Godzilla gets the best of them. At first, until of course, you know, uh, Kong is knocked out, and, but of course, there's an electrical storm comes, and of course, as they stay say in this movie a couple of times, electricity makes Kong strong, and of course, he gets struck by electricity, and then he starts kicking Godzilla's ass, basically, basically, and then you see him, they, you know, they're battling and battling back and forth. He's beating up, you know, Godzilla, and they both tumble off into the water, and then you see. All you see is Kong, you know, going off, and of course you don't see Godzilla. So, but you assume that Godzilla's still alive. He just he may have just knocked out from Kong kicking his ass in the water. And this, like I said, this is a child classic. You know, child classic. It is a childhood classic in, in my way. Right? So we used to watch this every year when it came on TV. You know, King Kong vs. Godzilla. And this is the American version, okay, which was actually um, re-edited, okay, and it was shot. With uh, extra footage on, onto it, they uh, you know they showed it to an American. I think it was an American company that uh, that bought it, and they um, yeah, Ameri John. Uh, so I think, uh, but yeah, John Beck, yeah, he was uh, the producer. He actually got two companies. I think Warner Brothers and Universal, and he shot you know you know like beginning scenes and scenes at the end and scenes in the middle and they kind of edit it together with the original film to give it more of you know the american feel to it okay and just putting new you know they actually uh included shots of like an american uh, newscaster who was like a u.n reporter so he would kind of describe the action and then it would cut back to the japanese footage and it's actually pretty good and another thing which i just found out recently because i always because i always heard that rumor that there were two versions this movie, but actually, there was never no diff there was never any different version, like you know the American version and the Japanese version. Slight details, were, but the basic ending was the same, with Godzilla and, and King Kong falling into the water, and then Kong arising and 
swimming off, going home, swimming back home, presumably, and you don't see Godzilla. And that was always the ending. I thought that was a different ending because I mean, I didn't, you heard all these rumors and it was like a myth almost, sort of an urban legend that there was a different, the, Jap the Japanese version, like Godzilla won the fight, which was not the case. Okay, so I say learn, you need to learn something new every day. Anyway, but King Kong versus Godzilla, like I said, uh, and as far as, you know, it's funny when you, you're a kid, you don't mind the movie. But I, I notice when I'm watching the movies now that I guess I'm looking at it more critically and, you know, the small miniature tanks and you see the strings and, you know, stuff that you, I guess, even care about as a kid. You just want to see the giant monster action. And, of course, now I can see, with, you know, the, when you see uh, King Kong and you see, and you can tell where the, where the mask, you know, where he lifts up the mask on the big suit that he has on. And, again, King Kong, like I said in my other review, King Kong Escapes. The King Kong design was just absolutely horrible. The, the, one of the horrible designs, at least in the Peter Jackson version, he, like I said, he looked like a gorilla. Uh, but it's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. But I said, you know, I still love it. It's King Kong, so I kind of accept it for what it is. But he is, I just know this is really, really horrible <laughs> looking uh, design for King Kong. You know, like the arms are way too long, and, you know, the, just a really ugly, ugly face. <laughs> okay, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, King Kong vs. Godzilla, like I said, it's a child classic. I love it. I love the action. I love the, you know, the fighting. And like I said, they do a lot of, a lot of wrestling holes, too. I noticed that, too. And, you know, King Kong and Godzilla, like a lot of headbutts, a lot of charging, a lot of judo flips <laughs> and stuff on that. But, you know, it's King Kong vs. Godzilla. So, but more, I would love to see them remake remake this now, especially now, you, you know, you have the technology now, and now you have a, good, a new Godzilla, and you have a better looking Kong now, that would be great to see them in a movie again, I would love to see that, that would be fantastic, especially now that the technology is a lot better, that would be freaking awesome, so I wouldn't mind that, so if they have to do that, I'm all in. Anyway, my review for King Kong versus Godzilla, like I said, I'm a little bit biased, because like I said, I'm, it's a child favorite. Okay, and, oh yeah, another thing, one of the reporters, it's, it's almost like, uh, sort of like Albert has a little slapstick, because the two, when the two reporters go to their Farrow Island to, you know, to look for Kong, and then one reporter is scared, sh you know, scared, he's, he's, he's scared, you know, he's so scared, he, he basically acts, you know, he's a coward, basically. He's, he's, he acts so freaking scared, you know, Saying that he had bad toes and and just so freaking scared and just like you know I guess you know this is comedy release that they throw in there and of course Mr. Uh, Taco the guy who's in charge of the studio uh, you know the, uh, the pharmaceutical company that sponsors the TV shows he's like a character because he's a big blowhard that wants things done and if that when it comes down to it he's a you know he's a yeah you know, just but you know that's a comedy release for the show but that's that's okay but I I like the the fights between King Kong and Godzilla. Okay, like I said, the, you know, the Kong design was up, but I still love this movie anyway. So I'm going to give King Kong vs. Godzilla a 7.5, okay? I'm going to give it a 7.5. Like I said, if Kong was designed better, and if they had a, maybe another fight, I would give it an 8. But I'm going to give it a 7.5. Like I said, a little biased because, like I said, I love Kong. Anyway, so this is Trey Passer for the Horoscope 101 channel, which is a video that's going to be uploaded on that. So watch that. Like I said, I'm still uploading these video, the videos on it, even though I'm the only one that's part of the channel. I'm still doing it. And also on my Trey Patrick Saturday reviews, Horror Saturday Horror Reviews. Okay, and this is episode 13, I believe. Okay, so King Kong vs. Godzilla, I give it a 7.5. Okay? And I know it's on Blu-ray now, that, and also King Kong Escapes. So now, I'll probably get that on Blu-ray just to see what other special features. Hopefully it has a bunch of special features on it, which I think it does. Okay? Because I know, I think I saw it in Best Buy once. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think. If you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.